All righty. Hello, everybody, and welcome again. We're doing yet another best of three traditional. We open Cyclone Summoner. Uh, probably the best card in here by far. Obviously, it pairs best with red, but it can also go nicely into a green deck if you have enough changelings to get value. So I think easy follow-up with a Bergstrider. It's a blue card. It's also a giant. I'd like to wheel maybe a Glade Warden from this pack. I don't think we're going to wheel a Frostbite. I guess I'm also happy taking like a Cavalry or Depart the Realm. But we'll definitely get something. Yeah, easy, easy, breezy Bergstrider. So now, probably just a Shimmer Drift Veil. White is not something that you want to pair with the with, uh, Giants. Shimmer Drift Veil keeps us open. I really wouldn't mind, uh, like I wouldn't blame anybody taking uh, a Shepherd here. Like if I had two other less gianty blue cards, I don't know if I had like, um, uh, Behold the Multiverse and like um, the one four. Then maybe I would take uh, Shepherd here, but I think we just need to take Shimmer Drift Fail. All right, so now we have, yeah, this is the card I was thinking of. Now we have Mistwalker. We also have a red, a good red card with uh, Firewalker. There's also Masked Vandal is a great card, but I think I will just stay on color and take a solid blue card for my deck. Okay, so now we can, uh, there's another good white card with the uh, Bounding Gold. I don't know, I'm just, I just don't see like a, a white blue giants uh, half aggro, half giants deck coming together. I, I just don't see it. I think I'd, I just want this Guardian Glade Walker. There are some decent black cards in here. There's a Berserker and a Skull Raid. I could also take a Glittering Frost, but I don't want to take it because we only have one payoff. Only blue card is a Brine Barrow Intruder. Man, I don't know. I don't know if this is the correct pick, but I'm just going to take a Glade Walker. All right, so now we have a Demir uh, Ice Tunnel, another decent white card. Now there's a there's a good red card with Fire Walker. Probably just taking another Shimmer Drift Veil because I'm still still not clear from here. Well, now I'm not going to pass the third one. Definitely snapping up the third one. This is a great card. Although we might wield the Cinder Heart Giant. Like we weren't really seeing good red cards until uh, until we saw the two to scary, uh, to scary Firewalkers. I mean, this does get bounced by Summoner, but I don't care. Like you can, if you, even if you boast this once and just get a land, you get a lot of value from this card. Now, this is interesting. Now, this changes things. There is a Jaspera Sentinel, and I would be losing out on two cards, but I have two Shimmer Drift Veils, and I have a Snow Creature, so maybe I'm supposed to take an Arfi. I can always splash an Arfi off the Shimmer Drift Veil. I think I'm going to take the Narfi. So let's see. Now there's... All of the imposter and none of the colors that we're playing. Um, there's a great hall <laughs> in case we end up uh, oars off somehow. I know I'm really not crazy about this card. I guess maybe in some dire straits, I may want to bring this out of the sideboard if I have absolutely no other way of winning. <laughs> I can't imagine what that would be versus though. Well, I'm short on, I guess I'm short on removal. 
Berkstrider's half removal. I don't know. Uh, so that was the pack where we thought we would get the part, the, the part, the realm, I think. Yeah, this, the part, the realm is fine for a deck like this. Now we have Mists of Lajara and a helm. I'm going to take a helm and be very happy with that. So snow covered plains with fall of the imposter is the only white card. Mm, sure. It's a decent side sideboard card if somebody's running like two copies of uh, the wolf, the wolf pop. All right, so we got a giant and this iron verdict wheel. That's crazy. Isn't just absolutely no one playing white. And we're gonna take the giant because it synergizes with our deck. But that is crazy late for that decent foretell removal spell to be going. I wish I could take this, but I think that ship has sailed. So we're just gonna go Behold a Multiverse over a second Berkstrider. We might even wield this or another Glade Walker. But I'm really not green, am I? I just have one green card. More likely to be paired with black or red. But at this point, like I'm a bit nervous because if I do drop red or if I don't end up in green and I like pivot hard into black, then uh, I'm really short on early plays. Like the part of the realm is not something that's going to stabilize me and I don't want to be casting Behold against uh, an aggro deck. It's a good way to lose the game. Well, there's, there's that decision, right? So, I mean, this can be a decent card. It's not great. But if you're like dedicated black-blue, there's ways to put cards in your graveyard. We can also just take a Frostbite. This wheels, like I said, I can, I can splash Narfi if I get enough Snowlands. So it's not like I need to build a, build this dedicated deck. I'd rather just have like cheap interaction early. And this is, uh, I guess like if you get two attacks with it, it's pretty, pretty darn good. It'll force a chum block. If you have enough things to exile, I don't know. I don't know, tough decision. Just gonna take a frostbite. Like <laughs> the problem with Throne of Death is you can sometimes end up just milling yourself. And that's not fun. That's not a fun way to go out. <laughs> Cause like you're you're actually you're milling yourself to draw cards, which means that you're like ripping through your deck even faster. And uh, black blue also has additional incidental mill, like the port, which which mills four. There's the three one elf that mills three. It doesn't really it prefers to be in the elves deck, but you sometimes end up running that. So you, you can find yourself in a, in a fairly awkward spot. So the only red card is Cinder Heart, and this is not what I'm looking to take this early. Probably just glacial floodplain again. Increase my land count for Narfi, potentially splash something, hopefully not in Fall of the Imposter. Other than that, I'm, I mean, Raven Wings is the only other card I might be interested in, so I'll just take a Snowland. You, you really want like maybe seven to eight Snowlands before Narfi becomes con consistently good. There's a mirror lake. There's the bomb uh, mythic mythic common linworm. God, this card increases your win rate by just a ridiculous amount. I think we have to take snow covered mountain now. Yeah, I think that's the correct pick. We have Narfi Strider Frostbite that looks at your uh, your snowland count. So 
if you take a Snowland over like a replaceable playable, on average, your deck is going to become stronger because you usually don't end up short on playables in, in this format. I cut, you know, like now I wish we actually pivoted into white because we had it, we could have had a sweet Azorius deck. We could have had uh, this guy, we could have had the clearance spirit. Now I don't even know what I'm supposed to take here. I really don't. I guess I'll take Cinderheart Giant and be like very disappointed about it. This is not the card I want to pick up this early. Man, I got to say, this, this draft's really not coming together in a good way. I'm, uh, I'm quite disappointed. Because now I'm thinking about playing like a three color green, blue, red snow deck and I'm looking at taking a Masked Vandal. But I guess I'm just supposed to take Dwarven Reinforcements but Dwarven Reinforcements doesn't really want to go into a deck like this. I'm just going to take Masked Vandal. God, another. Yeah, I'm I'm officially regretting not uh, you know passing white. I know that white is not the strongest color, but it's like so disgustingly open this format, this uh, draft, that this is a clear mistake. I usually, I can usually pick up on things like that, but I completely missed the signals. I should have. I think I should have given this another chance when I saw clearing spirit. I mean, I didn't take a terrible card over Clearing Spirit. We took Behold, but still, that's not that's not exciting. And now we're just taking Yeti because we're probably not green. Yeti works with uh, Narfi. I mean, four four unblockable is it's a legitimate threat. And this card's also really good. Let's take Hoggy Mob. Uh, so the Raven Wings wield. And we don't even have any of the payoffs for Giants, really. We don't have a single squash. We don't have uh we don't have the uh, I, I'm just never gonna remember that guy's name. Yeah, Agar's the car I'm thinking of. Well, this, this is about to be a train wrecked draft. I don't know what I'm supposed to do to salvage it, salvage it at this point. Like our, our curve is, is terrible. We have green cards we're not going to play. I mean, I guess I, I have no one to blame but myself for this. I'm just going to take Binding of the Gods, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Maybe, maybe I'm supposed to take another Helm, but I guess, I guess we're just going to be four color. Inga could could be okay in this deck. I'll take Inga. I don't think I won't provoke the trolls. Well, I do want a frenzy drader, but there's also a demon bolt. Now we're just gonna take demon bolt. Like Agar, like, you know, you want Demon Bolt <laughs> to go with a card like Agar, right? I mean, kill something, draw a card. That's uh, that's the dream. Well, we did get another one. Hopefully we can wheel Invasion. That'll smooth out our draws. All right, well, I'm not going to complain as much with two Demon Bolts. And another Behold, sure. And the Scary Firewalker. Hmm. I think I'm actually going to take the Firewalker because if I already have a Behold, if I'm already, we could have had a, we could have had a ridiculous white deck. I, I really wish I could go back in time. I'm not going to, I'm not going to make this mistake again. If I'm seeing a, a color combo like Azurius open, I'm just going to move in next time. This is, you know, I, I think we're still going to end up with like a average, like not even above average. This is going to be just an average deck. I'm not running these green cards. We can make it work. 
but it, it really doesn't synergize. Even Narfi is very awkward. Like I'm sure I'll get a couple of Snowlands, maybe one, maybe two. Frostbite's fine. We got we got a bunch of like cheap removal with double Frostbite and Bolt. Is there a chance we wheel the uh, two mana demon that grows as you boast? That would be really nice. So skull rate for the sideboard. Sure, with the torment with the tormentor sound, these are a little bit better. Also with the raven wings, they're a little bit better as well. Yes, that's pretty sweet. That is that is really good. So that is just a, uh, I don't know. I don't even know what to call it. I don't think we're doing Narfi. I'm still playing the two Shimmer Drift Veils. I'm not playing the Floodplain though. So three Snowlands is fine. I think with three Snowlands by, by turn five with Strider. So let's see if you have 40 cards you start with seven, let's say you're on the draw, 12 cards. So 12 cards into a 40 card deck is about a third. So you're give or take even odds to see one of these Snowlands uh, for your Bergstrider by turn five or turn six. Yeah, so I would give this deck like a like a C, C minus maybe. This is one of the worst decks that uh, I've ended up with. Like if I look at my red cards and I think about all the white cards I passed, I think we passed something like three bounding golds, uh, two spirits that make one ones, one clearing spirit like. It's definitely a miss. And this is a very like weird high curve deck. Like Invasion makes me want to play Cyclone Summoner and Cinderheart Giant, but that's not, it's not exciting to play these, right? Um, I have to run 17 lands. Um, Invasion might let me cast this like I guess on turn five. Yeah, C minus, <laughs> C minus for this deck. I don't, I don't really want to play Provoke the Trolls because we have two Frostbites to Demon Bolts. We have plenty of removal. We even have the, the part of the realm. I guess, I guess I could consider taking out the part and playing Provoke. Like Provoke with Mistwalker is really good because it's let, it lets you get in for six in the air, which could put a game away. You can't provoke Yeti, you would kill it. You can provoke Burke Strider and Hoggy Mob, I guess, as well. I think it's still worth it. You know, but you know, no utility, no utility lands, no Frostpire. Frostpire is like there must have been another um Giants drafter at the table because we got cut in blue as well. We didn't get decent blue cards. All right, let's try this. My my prediction is like a two one, two and one, but a one and three is not out of the question. And I guess like the odds for a three and oh, I would say definitely less than fifty percent. Maybe like I don't know, between thirty five and forty five percent to three and oh with a deck like this. Pretty straightforward.
So next turn, my plan would be to play reader pre-combat, attack, boast, hope to find a land, play it. Or maybe like a fearless pup. Or one of our frost bites. Yeah, we got one draws. We got one, two, three. We got four one draws we can uh, we can play. So let's go frenzied raider. And stack with the firewalker. Nope. I, I sense a binding. Okay, we missed Walker, that's fine. Uh, I don't think he's gonna block and then I can play Hoggy Mob. I don't think he blocks. Yep. And next turn, he actually can't block because if he blocks, I can ping off Hoggy Mob and kill Mist Walker. I probably wouldn't block as well there, being at 20 life. But uh, our deck wants to get as much damage in as possible for sure. I actually like Behold the Multiverse here because. We're eight percent chance to draw some of our you know ridiculous top end with the summoner and the cinderheart giant. Actually, I don't I don't really mind invasion here either. Um, so the plan is to attack as soon as he blocks with the troll and activates. We're gonna demon bolt. In fact, we can demon bolt uh, and boast at the same time. So let's attack with both. Okay, so let's boast ping. And after he taps to give it indestructible, we're going to demon bolt. Yes, we want to use this demon bolt. So the question is, we can foretell Demon Bolt, foretell Behold, or the Giants. I think I want to foretell Behold. I'd rather play this when I have a Giant in my hand to make sure I can ping for two. And Behold can help me draw that. All right, so that's a nice Demon Bolt target right there. So he can make 1-4-4, four, four, which means that um, I can't really attack. Good news is he can't really play anything. Oh, that's, that's unfortunate. What was I saying about... Yeah, with 26 cards left in my deck, we don't we didn't hit a single one of my snowlands, but I'm like 12% uh, to draw one each turn between the three of them. So what's the plan? Um, I don't really don't want to play Bergstrider. Probably we're just going to Demon Bolt Avalanche Caller and play Behold. Let's play Behold first. Provoke the Trolls is good. Ooh, we even got another Firewalker. I think I'm still going to... I'm going to I'm going to bolt the uh, caller pre combat. Let's see if he makes the forced into a 4/4. I imagine he does. If he does, we're not going to attack. Yeah, 
because I don't really want to trade one of these cards for a uh, for land. But I'm happy trading a demon bolt for for this. So no attacks. Okay, okay. Oh, that's actually good. So next turn, I have lethal with the ping from Hoggy Mob. You can also just equip Hoggy Mob and attack. So I think we won this round. Oh, he has a blocker, but we have provoke to any target. So I can deal three to our opponent as well. I guess we can just kill him with giants, provoke and a ping off hoggy mob. Like what happens if I attack right now? So if I attack, this is gonna become a 6-5, he can't double block and he has to chump. Yeah, I think I need to attack. He might also not block, in which case I would just win. So let's see, this is seven and this is gonna be six. So if I ping the Mistwalker, I can kill both. I hope he doesn't have the, the Veil card. It wouldn't be a blowout for me, but it would it would slow me down a bit. Oh, he had it. Okay, okay. So the Mistwalker is gonna live. Both my creatures die. And now I'm gonna play Invasion and I'm actually going to play both. I'm actually going to keep both. And pop. I still really don't see how we lose this. And next turn, I'm going to get a discount on this as well. So let's see, Berkstrider. Ah, oh, but, but he can just equip in response. That doesn't seem very good. And it feels better to play this when I get a discount. Next turn. So this is only going to cost three. So maybe let's go Firewalker. Make sure. Let's have the correct land and pass.
Okay. So opponents playing a, a juicy four mana artifact that makes me want to bring in Masked Vandal actually. Well, we only have two Shimmer Drift Dales now. I'd have to play a Forest. I don't know. I'm not sure how good that is. I could bring in Smashing Success. Nah, I like her deck. I mean, I mean, again, what's my worst card? Do I have a card worse than Smashing Success in my deck? I don't think so. Maybe unless I, I want to take one of these out, but I actually want to keep both of them in. With, with card draw off... Uh, uh, the Firewalkers and Behold. I also have Scry 3 with, in, with uh, Inga. Like these become much better. Of course, having one in your opening hand is not optimal, but there are worse things. This could have been a land. I guess it's better that you have a seven drop than a land when you already have three lands. Let's play Pup. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm actually fine with that trade. Of course, I tapped the, the auto tapper, tapped the wrong lands for this, but that's fine. That only happened like 50 times to me. And I, I still, you know, I still use the auto tapper. It's just, it still saves you so much time and trouble, even when it does uh, screw you sometimes. Like I'll be pr pretty sad if he plays an 0-4 here that I could have, that I could have sniped. Then again, if I don't really draw anything next turn, then I'm not missing out. Narfi. And you have exactly zero lands to bring it back. All right, well. Now I think I want to go Raider. And I want to boast. I'm totally not playing the Sunshine and Seven. <laughs> if if our board state looks something like this, then this is pointless, and it actually wouldn't bounce Narfi because Narfi's a wizard. Pretty bad. That's why I said this deck is like a C minus. In fact, Mistwalker is about the only thing that. Yeah, Mist, Mistwalker and a Bergstrider are the only cards on curve that Cyclone Summoner doesn't bounce. That card can get scary, but I still think Avalanche Caller is scarier. So... Stack with both, see what happens. 
Ooh, interesting. So now, so I can actually get a two for one here. So this is first strike. So all I need to do is like kill, kill Avalanche Caller and I get a free kill on Narfi. I'm cool with that. And actually killing killing Narfi, I just realized that killing Narfi reduces this by uh, one power. I didn't, I totally, I'm gonna pretend like I saw that that would happen. I keep forgetting that this is a, because this is a shapeshifter, it's a wizard. Like shapeshifters are not snow creatures because snow is a type. Um, or snow, I, I, I don't know, I don't remember the exact terminology, but this is actually a, a, a wizard. Oh, sorry, no, other snow and zombie creatures you control plus one plus one. So this is, since this is also zombie, that's why I guess plus one plus one. Anyway, uh, let's attack again. And that's game. Okay, our opponent just chose not to block. I mean, if you're gonna do that, you might as well concede and save the time, right? I think we still wanna be on the play with this deck. All right, all right, this is actually fine. Raven Wings, Firewalker, Equip, Boast, Attack, Boast, I like that. Okay, so now, actually second Firewalker is a great draw as well. Our opponent seems to be tanking on turn three or disconnected. Okay, so let's attack. Wow, Opie's really disconnected. That's unfortunate. Nice, so now we can play Pup and a Raider. So let's play a land, let's play a pup. And Raider. Great turn. So now this is attacking as a four, four with the double boast. And Okay. Arachniform. <laughs> all right, all right. So this is three damage. <laughs> I can attack just with the pup.
he doesn't block, what am I doing? Oh, nice. Okay, let's provoke. Uh, blue. I think that was a pretty pretty telegraphed attack there. I, I probably would not block. I'll take the two for one. Okay, nice. So now we can attack with everything. Yeah, pretty, pretty easy. First, I will boast with the, depending on how he blocks, first I'll boast with the Firewalker. And then we'll see if we want to boast with the pup or if we, we want to play whatever we draw. Okay, we want to play uh, reinforcements. So let's just get in for four. And reinforcements and pass. Okay, so this could be like the fight card. Skimp, uh, fight for Skempfar, it could be the deal five, but with this, I'm pretty sure we just we just won. It's gonna be very difficult, uh, unless opponent has the board wipe card, doom scar or whatever. I think we're, we're, we're doing well. So let's see, let's equip. And I'm actually just going to play around the sweeper. I'm not going to add to the board. I'm going to get in for a ton of damage. And we just need to dodge Doomscar and we're good. Okay. You could, this could still be Doomscar from uh, Fortel, but it's not. And I do believe that's lethal. You can play one blocker, but that's not enough. So sideboarding. Why are you playing this card? You've either got some you got you either got a ton of legendary creatures. How many how many legendary creatures would you need for the control three or more? Well, I guess you only need two more because it's it counts itself. But I would want like five or six probably. You, you usually don't end up with five or six legendary creatures unless you have multiple copies of Sveller or something. It's kind of, that's, that's actually kind of scary seeing, seeing this card because <laughs> it's either like really, really bad or really good because this becomes a six, six. I guess well, we could play Depart the Realm since he's playing Arachniform. Maybe I can squeeze that in. Question is, what do I take out? I guess maybe I can take out Center Heart Giant. Yeah, if we're going to be on the draw. I don't think a seven drop is gonna is gonna help me as much against a, against an aggro deck like this. This is great. Uh, 
All right, so let's play Helm. Okay, no problem. No problem at all. He's got some, some life gain stuff going on. Yorn, God of Winter, sure. Guess I still attack with both. Well, I guess I don't have to attack with the Frenzied Raider, but I'm going to attack anyway. Okay, okay, we actually get to play it. Nice. Like, he's got two cards in hand. I have one, two, three, four, five cards in hand, and one I'm casting this turn for free, essentially. I guess I'm, I'm, I also have an incentive to trade these off because he can crack this next turn. So he replayed a forest. Interesting. So is he trying to ramp to so that means he's trying to ramp to the to the worm. And I can bounce it twice, but I'll need to kind of really get past it with the cyclone summoner. That would be the only reason why he would take a land over, well, not the only reason, but that would be the most likely reason why he did that. Um, I can't play Yeti, unfortunately, but I don't really mind that it's exiled from my deck, to be honest. It's not... Uh... Yeah, so let's go... Actually, let's do it like this. I can also just bolt and frostbite to kill the worm. I think that's better than bouncing it and just having him replay it to gain three more life. So let's pass like this, keeping up demon bolt and uh, frostbite. But I'm fairly certain this is going to be the linworm. Oh, it's Maya. Okay, no problem. So you played a land before you played this? That was a mistake. He should have played that planes after he played this. Unless his last card's the veil. Nope. That was just a misplay. Okay, let's stack. The rich get richer. Sure. And just bounce that. Mm -hmm. Ooh, invasion. No, I still just want to bounce that. And well, let's think about that. Invasion lets me ping for two and makes Cyclone Summer Summoner cheaper. But it would bounce my Firewalkers, but they can't attack anyway. Hmm. 
Uh, I'm going to try to set up for a better turn. Let's scry two. So goblin reinforcements and provoke. I don't really want reinforcements because they're going to get bounced by summer. I guess I'm looking for a, I guess I'm looking for a second island for Cyclone Summoner. So that's the reason to bottom both of those. And let's pass. I'd rather wait to depart the realm until after he cracks Stronghold because then I can just get rid of the token, uh, get rid of the plus one, plus one counter. <laughs> man, oh man. Man, oh man. I'm glad I'm playing the part of the realm in my deck. If I wasn't playing that, it, it would be game. I don't think I could, I don't think I can beat that. Okay, so there's a land and another land. Okay. Can't play this right, of course not. Well, we found our second island and now we can cast Cyclone Summoner. For five mana. We can actually cast Cycle and Summoner for five mana. And I guess we wouldn't have enough to replay one of these, but we can keep up Frostbites. And my turn. I could also play like Inga Runai's Bouncing a Scry 3 again. That would be kind of sweet. And let's pass. It still makes sense to play Cyclone Summoner because you can attack past the God's Hole Guardian. And we'll play Inga and uh, Firewalker keeping, keeping up a Frostbite. I'm not worried about playing around Doom's card because I'll draw three cards anyway off Inga. I think that should be game, right? Ah, uh, no. Can you still... This is green. I guess you can still crack and get five points of lifelink, so now it's not game. But he decides to play Despair or something instead. Okay. And the Roots of Wisdom, sure. Go again. GG's. What is that? Oh, the Guardian, sure. Opponent 
opponent was already dead. Now he's just extra dead. All right, let's go for the win. Easy keep with invasion. We'll we'll find what we need. We'll find lands. But actually, but actually, prefer to play a uh, Agard Cavalry first. Although I do have a Cinderheart Giant, but I'm also going to have him for many, many more turns. I prefer to get aggro here because with invasion, like you get more value from this if you can cast it on like turn five and then play this on turn, uh, or even if you play this on turn four or three, right? You play something turn three or four, you, you can cast this for a discount. That's what I was trying to say. All right, so let's go Firewalker, Haste. Cavalry and Cinderheart Giant is also no joke. I mean, they they work nicely together. I'm gonna try to find a land here. Okay, uh, Raider's also fine. I'm missing a land drop, but I'm getting a really nice two drop. So opponent is playing like Esper Snow, Story Seeker, okay. All right, so let's cry away the land and keep behold on top. I only need one land to play this on turn five. And if I have two, I mean, I have one shot of drawing it with invasion. There it is. Let's reveal, submit, thing, playland. Hotel, Fortel. Okay. So next turn we have a seven six trample haste. Eradicator Valkyrie. No, that's gonna have to go. Let's see if he plays anything else. Sure. Anything else? All right. (laughs) 
So provoke the trolls would make this 12-3. Uh, Raven form, sure. No problem. That is also no problem. So how do we get the most amount of damage? I guess I want to go Raven Wings and equip. And then I can also play the pup. So Raven Wings. And pop. Too easy, right? I don't think I don't think we've dropped around yet, right? I don't remember losing. So this this is uh, I think setting up to be a three oh six oh. No changes for me. This is an ugly keep, but it's still a keep. I mean, I'm not playing anything that's attacking or blocking until turn four, but uh, I got some gas later. Opponent mulliganed. Ooh, opponent mulligan to five, actually. Okay, well, now, now I don't feel bad keeping this at all because that's typically going to be a very slow hand. And he's not running an aggressive deck from what we saw. Okay, Inga, Inga it is. And we still don't have a snowland for Bergstrider. Okay, okay. Oh, invasion's good. So we could place, we could like equip play invasion. We float one mana but we can get in for four. Mm, okay, well, with, with this, I'm not really crazy about, uh, I don't really want to attack. I don't think he's going to block, though, because he's not going to risk me drawing a bunch of cards. I don't think he's going to double block. I think he just lets Inga through. I mean, I could have also played Berkstrider before attacks just to tap something. Now I guess I'll try to tap uh, Frost Augur to see if maybe he'll forget to tap him in response. Nope. Okay. I mean, now I don't even need Invasion to play play the Giants. OK, 
Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. I think we go. Well, let's first attack with Bergstrider before we do anything. It's only one giant, so it doesn't it doesn't give you a discount on multiple giants. How cute will it be if we reveal Cinderheart Giant? So yeah, that's the land that we need to uh, make sure we can hit our seven drop next turn. So let's just keep that on top. That has got to be cute. Revealing Cinderheart Giant and then just playing Cyclone Summoner. <laughs> bounce only one of my creatures, bounce all of their creatures. That's cute. You got the angel tribal thing going, but I think we're still going to win this quite easily. Just all that work for nothing. Okay. Now yeah, let's reveal this. <laughs> let's play Cyclone Summoner. <laughs> uh, yeah. We also get to replay Invasion, which is kind of cool. And we swing for five. Narfi, okay, okay. Ah, this, this is actually a wizard. I keep forgetting that this does not get bounced by summoner. So that's, that's an even better turn for me. And now we just, I mean, we've, we're gonna Raven Wings equip attack and just force chum blocks. Um, and if we find a land, we can actually go Dwarven Reinforcements, Raven Wings, and Invasion. So he can't replay this, right? Ah, and it only targets his own creatures. Yeah, it's not the one that exiles my attacking creature. That's the three mana rare. All right, I guess you're going to take eight in the air and just die to invasion. Ah, never mind. I have Mistwalker too. That's just that's just lethal. Yeah. Okay, okay. All right, hope you enjoyed that. And uh, I'll see you next time.